Hello, welcome to Tips and Tricks with Lynn. I'm sitting here with my dog Tiffany on my lap and she's going to help me share with you some tips today that have to do with text, more notably bringing in an existing text document into AutoCAD because lots of times we'd like to do our notes inside of, say, Microsoft Word, right? So taking a look at the screen, you'll see that I do have a document that was made inside of Word and I want you to notice that the text, if I click in here, you'll see that the text is currently in Times New Roman. I'm actually going to double click on the word existing and I'm going to change that to a completely different font. I'm going to change that to Country Blueprint because that's going to help illustrate how, how much improved mText is inside of AutoCAD 2008. So I'm going to do Control A to copy all of this text to the clipboard and then I'm going to go over to my AutoCAD file and let's go into the text command mText, right? I'm going to go ahead and place my cursor on the screen where I'd like this to land. Let's say we'd like it to fit somewhere in there. That should be pretty good. And I want you to notice that my font right now that it's working with is Roman S, but that's not going to make any difference. As I paste this in, it's going to assume the text font of the Word doc. Let me do a page up. You'll even see as I do my page up and I get to the very top there, you will see the word existing shows up definitely in the other font, Country Blueprint, and this, these guys, that's in Times New Roman. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on my Dynamic Columns, another fabulous feature that came out in AutoCAD 2008. I love this feature because you can see this definitely doesn't fit, right? I'm going to go ahead and select this, and very easily I'm just going to move my cursor to the area that I want it to fill up, and it will divide it for me evenly into columns, which makes me very happy. Okay. Before we go, we want to make sure that everything is spelled correctly. Maybe I forgot to do a spell check inside of my Word doc, or maybe I wanted to check everything inside of my drawing. It defaults to the entire drawing. In this case, I just want to check what I just created in there. It is, that's a nice update, though. You don't have to always select objects. It will default to the entire drawing. And I'm going to say Start, and great new feature inside of AutoCAD 2008 is that it will zoom in on the text. No longer is that fun little guessing game, right? It actually zooms in and you can make changes. I'll say, oh, I need to change that. That was spelled wrong. Oh, I always spell mechanical wrong. I need to update that. But here, this is important. Make sure that you make your dictionary smarter and smarter because it's not the brightest dictionary to begin with. It doesn't know all of these specialized terms that you use in your drawing files. So in this case, I have MPA listed several different times in here, and I want to make sure that I add that to my dictionary. And from the next, time, the next time that I go into my spell check, it's going to know that that's an acceptable word, and it's going to let me move on. Also, do yourself a favor, take a look at the settings option in here, because this is a powerful option. Do you want it checking your dimension text? That's new to 2008. Make sure that you have that selected if you do, or maybe you want it to check your XREFs as well. And then you have even more extensive possibilities here. You could say, let you know, ignore those capitalized words because those are properly proper, probably maybe a proper noun. Um, you know, you ignore those words that are mixed cases. You know, whatever the scenario is, set this up so that your spell check will be perfect for what you need, and then you will always have drawings with perfect spelling, right? So those are my tips for today. And I hope that you picked up at least one or two things in there that was valuable to you. Have a great rest of the week. And from myself and Tiffany, we say goodbye.